All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, drinking water does more than just quench your thirst. It's essential to keeping your body functioning properly and feeling healthy. Nearly all of your body's major system depends on water to function and survive. With water making up about 60% of your body weight, it's no surprise what um, staying hydrated can do for you. Importance of water to our survival um, is what we're discussing today. And um, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at wishyouafka1 with the hashtag wishyou. So quickly, I want to bring in Dr. Carlo, but Gloria, I want to hear your thoughts. Do you drink water? <laughs> and how, how good is your water habit? I wish my mom was watching this. So she watched me do a national testimony. I'm a changed person. Oh, so wow. Actually, at first, when I was growing up, drinking water was an issue because to me, I should drink water when I'm thirsty. And I rarely get thirsty. So I'll end up probably going the whole day just drinking a glass of water. That's if I drink a glass of water. And at a um, stage in life, I was just having all these issues. And so so people say, drink water. I'm like, water? Tell me, take medication. I will understand, but not water. So when it dawned on me, there was another thing that happened. My dad was like, drink water, my daughter. <laughs> when we were growing up in those days, my grandma would tell me, drink water. I was like, okay, let me try it. So I had to start taking water, forcing myself in the morning, I'll take a glass of water. And to be honest, the changes have been remarkable, both on my body uh, <laughs> <laughs> and also my health too. I feel so much better, mm. um, some of the complaints I had um, previously. And what is really important, I mean, I, I can really testify, it's really, really important. Absolutely. I mean, people always say, oh, you're glowing, you're glowing, you're glowing. I tell them, <laughs> I say, <laughs> if there's anything you can see. But my bedside, you will see water. So, because what I do before I go to bed at night, I just try to keep a glass so that once I wake up first thing in the morning, I have water that I'm going to just stay hydrated. Because again, even at some point, I would just even naturally get parched if I don't have water to drink, you know. And people underestimate what water can do for the body. They just like overlook it, you know. I, I see when people say, ah, I, pay, I can't drink water. Some people till today, they must put something in the water. They see they just cannot see themselves okay. drinking plain water. And maybe that's why we're having this conversation today, so that Dr. Kalu will help to give them deliverance. <laughs> so Dr. Kalu Genevieve is the PRO and head of Medicals, OGC Foods and Beverages Limited. These are the owners of Lacena Atesian Natural Alkaline Mineral Water. She is presently a member of the Nigeria National Economic Summit Group under the health sector. That's a um, thematic group, health as a business, as in quote, and a member of the Nigeria Medical Association. You see, say we went to bring the best of the best. <laughs> if, the, if, if Dr. Kalu finish with you this evening, oh God, you will first of all go and buy water. <laughs> and you will never go back again. But thank you so much, Dr. Kalu, for being here with us. This is such a long time I saw you, since October. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know, you look amazing. Thank you so much. All right, Doc. Yeah. Last week was World Water Day, yeah. right? So what are we doing? You know, um, first of all, based on your analysis, right, do you think that um, we are getting better with our water habits, like as Nigerians, the awareness and sensitization is getting better? Or are we going, are we just like reversing? People are not even interested in water as a healthy, um, what's it called, um, habit or healthy choice. Um, I would say that it's just fear because uh, Nigerians are still having that notion that water is water. So they don't have the notion that water is life. Mm. And moreover, water is life. And uh, you know that, like you said, 60 to 70 percent of who you are is water. And without water, we die. Mm. in seven days. Of course, the whole world is made up of 70% of water and your body 70% of water. So God was very, very smart deliberate. enough to make sure that we are moving water and that is why we can react. Even children can die within four hours you know, when they have dehydration. And Nigerians have the habit of you know, they drink water when they're thirsty, and when you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. And dehydration causes a lot of problems, headaches, down from your head to your toes. So dehydration is a very serious problem, and then if you can drink water, and they didn't drink the right one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I know you were, you were going to drink it. 
<laughs> you have to drink the right one. You know, you don't need to drink uh, insipid water. That is water with nothing in them. Mm. We are actually because um, our cells, we, we are born to grow and die. And then when we are born, we are born with a particular pH inside of balance. us. Balance. And our natural pH at birth is 7.7. .7. And then physiologically, doctors and the pharmacists will tell you that if you can maintain your pH inside at 7.4, most of these degenerative diseases, they cannot uh, survive in your body because most of those degenerative diseases find it difficult to survive in an alkaline environment. So the most important thing is to drink a natural alkaline water with the right pH. When we say with the right pH, we are talking about pH 7.4, 7.7, 7.8, .7, 7.8. You don't drink water that is too alkaline. That is, you're talking about pH of 8.7, 9, 10. They are very dangerous for our health. So it must be a that balance. balance. And then it must contain minerals because mm. we need these minerals for our, you know, billion. We are born with about 100 trillion cells in our body. And most of these cells, every minute they degenerate and then new ones have to be formed under a particular condition of the presence of these minerals. And we have the quantity of minerals that should be in our external water compartments and our internal water comp compartments. So I would say that Nigerians are yet to get there. It's fear, but uh, we need more education, communication, awareness, campaigns to let them know that Actually, water is water is life, and then without water, we die. Because at pH six point four, we die. That is just <laughs> you know see the way she told me. Doctor has arrived. I told you that. I just kept quiet. I'm like, okay, go on. <laughs> you know, so I mean, th this is what you've talked about, Doc. Right? First of all, I see sachet waters, and those are like heavy sellers. You go, but the thing, the interesting thing in Lagos is that there is a huge decline of selling of sachet waters in traffic compared to many years ago. Yes. If you notice in Lagos now, it's bottled water bottle they water. sell in traffic. Yes. So that sachet water era is kind of like declining in Lagos. It's more, if you go down maybe Ibadan and all of those places that you see people still hawking um, sachet water. Even those places, uh, most people have really transformed into, um, what's it called, bottle water and all of yes. that. But again, you said something about the quality of the water. That you drink. Right, because now, it's not so much of saying, okay, drink water, drink water. You can actually be drinking poison. Yes. yes. Because of the kind of water that is there. Now, if you travel abroad, there's a particular brand I don't want to mention, Right. If you check the price of that water, it's much more expensive, Very expensive. compared to the price oh, of the bread. regular water. You know, and I, I, I keep on cringing, like, why is this water too expensive? <laughs> but, you know, when you think about it again, you're not thinking, okay, your health, compared to the, what you are spending for the mm -hmm. water, just close your eyes and just, you know. So how do we even start, first of all, be, be, putting that consciousness of drinking the right water? Mm -hmm. Then secondly, how do we even start to get... Maybe agencies. The other day I was looking at, yesterday I was looking at Instagram. Lagos State Government had gone to seal up one um, um, supermarket for selling expired products. Product. How can we start to get our government to, to actually um, control? Because peop I can just start a pure water business on my backyard. And people will buy. Yeah, I think um, I want to commend the, effect, uh, the effects of um, activities of Lagos State Government and NAVDAC, hmm. our regulatory bodies. They are really doing a great job. That's why you're seeing the decline in, in the, the sale of the sachet water because I know that NAVDAC really worked on that. You know, someone was cracking a joke and he said, when I was in Ghana, he said, are you a Nigerian? I said, yes, he's a Nigerian. Puts water in nylon and they put granite in bottles. Mm. You know, it was like a joke. Like but, an irony. Yes, I was <laughs> like, I thought really about it. We are not even meant to put water in cellophane nylons. And there are different types of plastics that we need not to put our water. Things like ethene, venin, acetate, they are not healthy enough to put our water. And if you come to Nigeria, you will just see a lot of supermarket 
Nigerians believe that I need to shed the water outside, and when I shed it outside, people will know that I'm selling this water. Hey, son. You are not meant to, because the effects of, of sun, you know. But the, 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 like the water you were trying to mention that you met in abroad, it's written there that you don't put this, like the natural alkaline mineral water, we have one in Nigeria. I'm not going to mention names, you have mentioned it already, <laughs> when you were introducing me. Yeah, I'm very particular about it, and you know, when I returned back from Europe, I was talking about lifestyle, diet and water and i was on a tv show and someone was asking me that how are you going to do that i said i'm a voice and i'm going to talk and by the time i talk for 10 years we're going to change our lifestyle so storage of this water is very important because we don't need to store this water under the sun especially for the mineral alkaline water that doesn't have any preservative in the uk it has been banned a long time ago that you are not even allowed to put chlorine in your swimming pool. Mm. Even 0.02 <laughs> ppm is not allowed because it was discovered that it causes cancer of the bladder, cancer of the uterus, and cancer of the prostate. So you are not even meant to put it in your swimming pool. But you see some people put water as a preservative in their in their In, 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 in their the drinking, drinking water. water. Chlorine, yeah. It's wrong. America has also banned it. I think it was in 2014 that America banned the use of chlorine. In as a preservative, so water should be very clean, hmm. has the minerals, the right ones that we need for rejuvenation, and to stay alive. Because the way God programmed the body is that we must live by water, and then if we don't live by water, we die. I don't think there's any man that has survived without water for more than seven days. Hmm. That's right. By third day, fourth day, you're losing your strength, you know. So that is the way we are wired. So the right thing is that you don't just put any water in plastics and then you just put them under the sun. Some people, you see them in the supermarket, they just lay it outside on a beer floor. So some of this kind of best water that we need to drink, mineral, alkaline water, natural, not artificial. You are not meant to artificialize your alkaline water. Hmm. Because when you bring, assuming this is a, tepid, a, a table in tepid water, and I want to canalize it. I'm going to use something like sodium bicarbonate or use some electrolyte to do that. So when you artificialize your alkaline water, you will drink it. But by the time it gets into your body, it's going to cause more problems. Because the sodium that was added with the bicarbonate to canalize this water artificially is going to go into the body cell and it will deplete potassium and it will deplete calcium. When it depletes calcium in the body, you're going to be having... I'm having bone pain, you go to the hospital, you see your doctor, your doctor will give you medications, give you some calcium and all that. But when it depletes your potassium, potassium is really not compatible with life. Normal potassium is 3.5 to 5, but by the time your potassium drops to 2, it's very incompatible. So you can die in your sleep, you can have a sudden cardiac arrest, and you will never attach it to, I'm drinking an artificial alkaline water. So we really need to be very careful, read what you are drinking, Right pH 7.7, 7.4 is very fine. 7.8, 7.98 is also all right. And then with the minerals, because if you're taking insipid water that's plain, had nothing, when they go into your body, they take away your nutrients. But when you take the right mineral water, when it gets to the body, it supplies you with the right minerals. Mm. Then you look younger, you are more healthier. You know, you see some people saying, I've not visited the doctor for like two years and I'm fine. And you'll be like, what's going on, you know? Water that has the right minerals, the zinc, the copper, the magnesium, the bicarbonate, and all that. It's very important. And all those things must be natural. It must be natural, yes. Not the one that was artificially no, no. added. No, okay, no. Okay, Glory, no. let's go on a very quick break. <laughs> when we come back from the break, we'll continue this conversation. <laughs> Alright, so if you just tuned in, we are discussing the importance of water to survive for our survival. Now we have Dr. Carlo Jenny, um, the the brand ambassador of <laughs> for Lassena Water. Now yeah. let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to zero one eight zero three eight four six six three. You can also tweet at us at Wish Africa One with the hashtag Wish Show. Alright, so I mean, Doctor. So before I met you, I'll, I'll come to you, Glory. Before I met you, I'd seen your principal many years ago he took us to your i think you have like a sauna kind of thing like a natural steam Na bath. Nat natural uh, steam bath, steam bath. Mm -hmm. so by the time we came back i was feeling so relieved and everything so i changed all my bottles 
in my house. I don't, I don't know what happened. I now backslided. <laughs> Only for us to re reunite on in October. Yeah. And, you know, since then, even I consciously changed all my dispenser bottles. Then in my office, I just drink, you know. So, and I, I noticed that, you know, because I used to feel so much fatigue, headaches, and all of that. Most of all of those things are gone. Like, I'm energized. You know, I'm, I wake up, I feel refreshed and all of that, you know. Is it really, really water that is bringing that or maybe, I don't know, there's something more? Yeah, I would say yes, because the water you're drinking has natural minerals. For example, you know, like we are the only water in Nigeria that has what is called calcium carbonate mm. in our water. And by the regulatory bodies, before you can be registered as a natural alkaline mineral water, your water must naturally contain that calcium carbonate at least 100 milligram in one liter. So our water contains natural calcium carbonate 273 milligram in one liter. So that's why we stand to be the only natural alkaline mineral water in Nigeria. And in the whole of the world, we are still the only natural alkaline mineral water that has copper as trace elements and zinc as also trace element in the right ratio, physiological ratio of 15 to 1. So we've got the zinc 0.30 milligram in one liter and we've got the copper 0.02 milligram in one liter. When you have like mercury poisoning or you have some issues in your body and you go and see your doctor, zinc and copper are meant to be, you know, prescribed the same in ratio 15 to 1. So we, are, we just say, that's why we say it's a natural gift from God to man because God just composed it. And then I'm also, well, uh, thrilled about the bicarbonate in the water because when I came back to Nigeria, I know I, I was talking about this brand and everybody was like, Oh wow, this and all that. And I suddenly met the owner in the way I was talking about it, and I never knew that he is the owner. So it was my passion that was driving me because I was actually becoming worried about diabetics in Nigeria and why we are having such issues. Because diabetes, I believe, medically is a sickness that you should control with your fuck. And then the pancreas is one organ in our body. And that it is only the pancreas that naturally produces bicarbonate. Do you know that medicine, pharmacists and biochemists has never to date ever medicine has existed, you know, composed bicarbonate? Because it's a very unstable mineral. So I was thrilled when I met Lacena water with 263 milligram of bicarbonate. I was wild. And I was like, this is fantastic, you know. So People that are diabetics, this is the right water for them to drink, not mm. the acidic water. Mm. And people that are, you know, sicklers, that are always having their bone pain crisis, non-complicated, vasoclusive crisis, they need bicarbonate in that, you know, form, natural form, because it helps them. That's B-complex, right? That's, no, bicarbonate. Okay. Uh, bicarbonate, no, it's different. Mm. And this bicarbonate is actually only being produced by the pancreas. In a day, the pancreas is supposed to produce at least 2.5 liters per day or 75 milligram per hour. So if your pancreas can no longer produce this, you can be seriously predisposed to diabetes mellitus as a very you know, severe sickness. Wow. So the pancreas, and it's a buffer because God is very, God is a perfect God. The way he programmed the body, he programmed us that no matter what you're doing, your body should be able to, to produce, to pro, yeah, we have what is called auto-regulation mm -hmm. in our body, both the brain and all that. So your body is supposed to auto-regulate and make sure that you are alkaline if your body is capable of producing this bicarbonate. Mm -hmm. But the more you are acidic, the more the pancreas is being destroyed. Mm. And bicarbonate is the largest buffer in the body. We just have only three buffers in the body, phosphate, plasma, and bicarbonate. So if your pancreas is not doing so, there's a lot of medical issues, and if he's not doing that, you can be predisposed to diabetes mellitus. And once the pancreas picks up and starts producing, you know, bicarbonate, you will be very, very relieved. That was the kind of relief that you were seeing. Mm. So when people drink lacerna water, they will be like, this happened to me. It's actually the minerals that is doing those. She had to just mention the brand. <laughs> hey, we will send you your name. mention it first. <laughs> 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 ha. Mm. So many bicarbonates and so many that is figures yeah. I know. What, what will I say? So when you were um, calling the components of the mineral water you're talking about, all I'm seeing is money, figures, this is probably expensive, this is probably <laughs> expensive. So water is very important, we all know that. And I believe because it's important, we should try to make it accessible, good yes. water to yes. everyone. Yeah. So um, now with... What you said, the components of this 
like natural mineral, natural water. mineral water. Don't you think it's a good idea if all the other um, companies can also have this come so that everyone can easily have access to it? No, like that type of natural alkaline mineral water, which was actually discovered by Serendipity, is not something that is just common. In the okay. whole of Africa, we just have three of it in Africa. So in the world, we have about 28. So in Africa, the first one was discovered in Namibia, but it's not for commercial. Then the second one is this one, Lacerna Water, discovered in 2009. And then it took five years for the regulatory body and the company to know about the water, you know, went to understand what the water is all about and saw the mineral content and all that. So it's a very unique water. It's called an artesian water because okay. you get it from artesian well. So this particular one comes out hot, 70 degrees. And it came from a 16 layers of clay soil okay. at a depth of 2,000 feet, gushing out with natural hydrostatic pressure. Hmm. And it has to run 24-7. You can't stop an artesian well. So it's a special kind of water. Okay. That's why we say divine nature, uh, gifts from God to man. It was just discovered by serendipity. No, so nobody ever knew that it existed there. So we got it by chance. Nobody mm -hmm. knew that an artesian well was there. So you can't just get an artesian well anyhow, anywhere. You, know, you sure if okay. I don't dig here now, not say artesian <laughs> So um, um, let's, um, so now let's go to our drainage. How do we begin to educate the citizens? For example, in Lagos, there is this habit. So I know so there are some African um, countries where you have them in terms of um, disposal of refuge. It's really well organized and planned. You find on the streets there is just a trash can and everything and people are educated constantly. In fact, there, there's, a, there's an African country I know if you throw things on the road, you're going to pay fine if you're caught. But such practices, I don't see that here. And you find most of our drainages um, filled up and With blocked and all of this I think affects water. So how do we begin to educate um, the citizen to become really aware of how important taking care of our water, um, especially the, um, we have the lagoon yes, and all of that. Yes. How do we start educating them? Um, you know, the awareness is, you know, enlightenment and also trying to let the public know. I learned that by the year 2050, the plastics in the ocean are going to be more than the fishes in the ocean. So we need to learn how to trash these plastics from our doorstep. Teach your children, wrap the plastics in a particular place, and then there are companies that can actually come pick it up and pay you for it. Mm. So it's also another business on its own. I come to your house, I pick your trash, I pay you money to collect your trash. You're going to be, you know, because Nigerians, we, have, we like money and we're going to be happy that we are seeing some incentives that is going to trash in it the right way. And then we have different type of estates, especially here on the island. Could you think if we start to put like fines on people that are just um, throwing things on the road? Stop yeah, but it's strict measures. Yeah, I was going to say that, you know, because I think this, this thing you talked about, I think it's the government that, you know, we must bring back, bring yeah. back those rules. The discipline. And the discipline. discipline because yeah. again, if, if you leave it to us, we will not be responsible to want to, yeah. you know, to do the right thing. So imagine if the government starts to put in those rules. In those places, the fine is, is, a, is a rule that is being enforced. Yeah. We have those rules, funny thing, but it's, it's the enforcement that, you know, that worries me. You know, because now it's no longer just about you, it's about survival. Mm -hmm. But you see, outside of the shores of this country, I, th I don't know if they do it here, but I must commend Lagos State because they have a, a, a lot of recycling plants for plastics. But I was going to say, touch back on sewage, sewage water, what mm -hmm. they call sewage. that. You know, a lot of countries actually recycle those waters that they, they channel it back to the you know, so for, for, for use, for you know, use, and yeah. all of that. So are you trying to say that those kind of water, you know, they are not healthy water or what, what exactly are no, the people they drinking? they can never be healthy water because it, it's not drinkable. It can never be drinkable if you, you're going to put a lot of chemicals, chemicals that is not compatible with human body. Mm. You can use those ones to Wash. do your laundries and all that. I know in Europe, you know, I stayed in, in Germany for, for some time. They, they had issues with water, even here on the island, you know. Mm. As I'm coming to mm -hmm. the studio now, I saw the water in the toilet and mm. I was like, 
Oh, yeah, in, you are, say it in our public. Yeah. <laughs> you are on the island. <laughs> yeah, the water here is no, it's really bad. In ah. fact, even the, I think there was a time in June this year that the commissioner mentioned it that the, all most of the water we have in Lagos State is really not so mm. good for human consumption and even for not acceptable for animal consumption and it was wide all over, you know. But we have a lot of you know bad water in the environment, so I'm saying that let us look at we are using this water for survival. Let us look at the health force Benefits. and the awareness and ways because we need to live. We don't want to die. We have to live long. Mm. So if I'm going to use this type of water and I'm going to die young, why do I? But well, what's your use company it? doing in terms of CSR? And you know, helping to bring this awareness. I mean, Gloria touched on it a bit because affordability mm. is very key, right? Oh, the reason, well, yeah, actually, the reason yeah. a lot of people will just buy yeah, the water in traffic is hundred naira. <laughs> you know, and, and I can tell you that when it was fifty naira, people, you know, started taking. They stopped taking sachet water. They started taking. Yeah. Now that it's the gone. water has gone up to hundred naira, people are mm. still buying it. So imagine, can can we start to have these healthier options? To also be, you know, competitive in terms of yeah, price. that's why we have dispenser jars for the common, for everybody. You can afford it. Our mm. dispenser jar is twenty liters, and everybody can afford it, and it can last for a family at least three days, four days, then depending on the size of the family. And we also make sure that, you know, in our factory, for those people that live in that vicinity of the OPIC environment, we have a pipe and then we put the water outside, it's free. Oh, wow. Yes, everybody picks it free of charge, 24 seven, Monday through Sunday, and all the time. You know, some people, I see some people, they come back from work very late, 10 midnight, they are taking the water because it's running. That's one mm. of the things that we did, you know. And then most of the houses around that area, they have the piping of the water too. Initially it was free, but now it's just something very token that they pay and they have water, mm. right water running in their houses. Wow. Yes, at very minute you know, price. price. Yes, that's what we are doing. There's a problem. <laughs> you have to come and discover uh, uh, within the record <laughs> thing for, for Ireland. <laughs> I think because again, the water we have here is quite hard. Yes, I you would know that. when you start to do laundry, laundry, laundry. you know, your, mm -hmm. your, your soap would just f refuse to fold bladder and all of that. Mm -hmm. Like, it's very hard and it stains your, your fabrics and yes. all of that. So, uh, um, it's quite tough because I see a lot of people buying sachet water to cook, yeah. you know, to clean, you know, and all of that, you know. So, I don't know. How do we... Is there anything that you can recommend? You well, know? it's part of government policy to provide... Mm. You know, these amenities, light, water, and health. Mm. That's what everybody is looking for when you are saying you want the government to you know, give you uh, those kind of things. So I think the government has to be committed because it's not so easy for individuals. You know, running a business in Nigeria is really very tough, especially mm. at this time that <laughs> one, <laughs> liter, about it. one liter of diesel is just 830 naira. So it's quite lo a lot. And the light is not there. It cannot mm. even carry any of your machines and you have to spend a whole lot of money on diesel to make sure that you run your particular so i think the government has a very big role to play to look back to us that's why we are voting them to ensure that i provide the this simple basic amenities, basic amenities that we are looking for water mm. light and good health mm. that's what we are asking for mm. so they can do that let's take some comments so because it's quite mm. interesting no? <laughs> Nigeria, Nigeria. Glory, mm -hmm. it's. Um, so, this is from our regular fan, Daniel Ilo. He says, Good evening, my beautiful ladies of what are you saying? Importance of water to our survival, which is the topic we're talking about today. Thanks a lot, beautiful ladies, for this great topic. I personally, I am a lover of good water, and I take a lot of water every day. Please, I would like your guests to talk some sense into the heads of people that don't take drinking, <laughs> drinking of water serious. They cannot do without. They cannot do without taking soft drinks when eating, which I know may not be healthy. Your guests should tell us the types and names of water that is healthy for ah. consumption. <laughs> We're sorry. Daniel, are you ready to pay the bill? 
<laughs> so she has already permitted me. No, no, she did not permit us. Doctor Kalu, the healthy water is natural alkaline mineral water. It must contain minerals and it must have the right pH. I've already told you the right pH: seven point four, seven point seven, seven point eight, and eight. Go all over the stores, the the supermarket, the, supermarket, the shop and, and our other. water must not be stored outside. It must not be stored outside. So it's when you go into a supermarket and you see that the water you're about to buy, they left it outside. Say something. Is, is it that you say something or you just carry yourself <laughs> and your key? Tell and them no. This go, is all the... Yes, and go to I a different people that do that. So yes, so them you, that, you no. correct them and you, you and carry yourself and go. So yeah. what's, the, what's the health um, consequence of drinking those kind of water? Because I remember that a particular brand said that you don't keep your um, plastic bottle in the car. But later, they now created another bottle that had a green cover. I'm sure you know the brand I'm talking, <laughs> talking about now. Then I said, okay, that one is safer. You can leave it in the car and drink it, you know, with the heat and all of that. that. The other bottle, if it, it, the water reacts with the plastic. So that's not good for consumption. So because of that, they now created this other bottle that had the green cover, a particular brand. Mm. What do you want to say about those topics? Yeah, there are bad, a lot of bad plastics that when yeah. you, even some women use plastics to make moe moe, and some big restaurants in Nigeria use plastic to make moe moe. When I get to such restaurants, I say, no, you can't use this to make moe moe. So for water, you don't use like ethylene vinyl acetate because I know that it will react with the sun mm -hmm. or heat and it will produce something that is carcinogenic. Now, the right plastic that you can use is high-density polyethylene. It's a very expensive um, material okay. to use to produce, you know, plastic, high-density ethylene, and very big quality resins. These are what you can use, and when you put them, in fact, let us even remove the notion that you, you're not meant to put water under the sun. Water should not even go under the sun. For a mineral water, that doesn't have any preservative that is natural, you can't even put it under the sun. If you put it under the sun, it's going to start growing microorganisms because the minerals there are going to be like fertilizers to the wow. microorganisms to be grown. So wow. it's not allowed. <laughs> you don't put them at all. And then you don't even put them on the, on the beer floor. There is what is called chelating agents in like our own type of water. It has copper, it has zinc, and it has magnesium. So if you put it on the floor for some time, or even put it in the freezer and then you bring it out, not the fridge, you will not see that the minerals have come together to form a double bond. And you will like, I saw you see pa particles. You say, I saw particles. It happened to me. <laughs> so why do we keep it like there? Like so so why you why could, like, the this, look at this. This is a wooden surface. <laughs> yes. Okay. See, on a wooden surface or on a plastic pallet. It will be there. I have water that is on a wooden surface for like seven years and they are fine. Nothing mm. is wrong oh, with wow. them. Storage. Nigeria has to learn how to store and that is why for our own brand there's a leaflet inside that please don't store it this way this water you know contains copper it contains zinc it contains magnesium they are all called chelating agents they will come back chelation is that we are sitting separately now mm. when i come and bond with you and hold ourselves we are bonded together so you cannot be seeing so us. When they freeze you and now or freeze you, <laughs> you not separate you not see us. <laughs> And then you can see the silica in the water, you know, shiny in the water. You say, I'm seeing something shiny. So they've come together. So that's why we say, and you can imagine when you see observed particles, you'll be like irritated. Yeah. What am I saying? I can't drink this. So storage is very important, especially for our brand, to prevent algae growth, to prevent fumigatus growth, because you must not, because there's photosynthesis taking place under the sun and especially there is a mineral in the water nitrates is there and that nitrate is also very important for you because it helps in the movement of hemoglobin oxygen you know to your organs so we have to, we need it is to there survive. any in ingredient that is not important in that your ah. water <laughs> <laughs> every one of them is very important <laughs> you know but you have to find a way to Story to like partner with us so that we can be we can be, we can be giving people but, but because again for me i realized that you know just simple healthy choices right yes and i've seen how my everything i mean like when i go out people say you're glowing you're this is not a it's not by mistake <laughs> because yes because i'm very deliberate about mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about my health i'm very deliberate about what i put into my system and all of that so and i see the direct correlation of all of those things you know Radiating from my skin to my, you know, 
my health and everything. So it happens, right? But sad thing is, it's quite expensive, right? And it's not something that anybody yeah, can just keep yeah. up keep up with, right? So at, at least let us even start with water. Yes. You know, let's start with water and see how far that will take us. Even the dermatologist will tell you that if you want to glow, drink you drink water. water. Yes. <laughs> and you must drink water according to your body weight. Mm. If you're 70 kg, you must drink at least 4 liters per day. And if you're more than, there's if a calculation. If you're 54, call. If you're 54, you can drink like 3 liters per day. There's a calculation okay. to it, even for babies, and you know. So if you're 80, 90 kilograms, you drink more because your body needs more, especially during when you are... Uh, the, and I hear if you sweat a lot because the, yes, the kidney really doctor we had, yeah, oh, yes, to, I think wow. um, last week's Wednesday, last said week. if you sweat a lot, to you for you so you would have to take much more than and rehydrate yourself yeah, to rehydrate because yourself. yeah your kidney needs about three liters per day to wow. remove toxins from your body so wow. the kidney needs at least three liters for a 70 kg man so absolutely you need at least four liters. someone says what a great topic and great discussion on the importance of water to our survival please we need a sample of this water <laughs> <laughs> for life uh, this water for life we are talking about here Santos. Really life giving water. It says, it says we need this natural <laughs> mineral water, please. Most people uh, we have around us have a high potency of causing um, causing us. Uh, most water, rather, we have around us has a higher potency of causing us typhoid yes. and other viral infectious diseases. Mm -hmm. Some of them are just fake. You are drinking them and they will be tasting and smelling smoky. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and like um, they are like they are from the rustic cans. So he said we are dying from drinking dirty water all over the place in this country. Navdak should rise up to checkmate um, what is in circulation. They call water beginning with ah. He called a brand. Oh. <laughs> Don't let them come and fight us. So he called a particular brand that they should begin with that brand. They should <laughs> sanction them. Ha. Huh. But are you not afraid of your brand being adulterated? Because again, I want to believe that this brand that Sanctus has mentioned, right? It's possible that because they say in Abad, there's nothing you cannot see. Oh. <laughs> you will see. They and will, in you, know, and, you know. So, are you not afraid of that um, that water being? Well, we are really prepared for okay. such uh, people. Mm -hmm. We have been. We have always been prepared because we know. So, f starting from okay. our. We're starting from our plastics. Mm. The mold, we blow it. Our factory is okay. Is a perfect. No, I beat factory. your factory. So we I think blow, we'll, we I think we'll speak to said. MD. Say, come, <laughs> come, <laughs> officially, officially, so that we can be. <laughs> so we Before we this. go, ensure you follow us across all our social media platforms to interact with us further. Drop a comment. More importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote today, here it is again. Water is the driving force of all nature. Thank you so much, Dr. Carlo. Thank you. you have made me to call something. I'm Thank in trouble. You. I'll Thank see you, you tomorrow at 8 p.m. <laughs>